Hello everyone and welcome back to today's session. During our discussion on set associative mapping, we came to know about its novelty. Hence the questions which are formed in various competitive exams from this particular concept are diverse in nature. That's why from this session onwards we will observe a variety of previous year questions. And I promise that we won't stop until we clarify every single aspect of this very concept. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Consider this question number one. It came in gate 1990 paper. Now the question states, a block set associative cache memory consists of 128 blocks divided into four block sets. The main memory consists of 16,384 blocks and each block contains 256 8 bit words. Now we will solve these questions one after the another, but first let's try to extract the information provided in the problem statement. Now the cache memory is given as 128 blocks. Now we already know the block and the line are sometimes used interchangeably. So in other words, the number of cache lines is 128, which can also be written as 2 to the power 7. Similarly, the main memory consists 16384 blocks. That means the number of main memory blocks is 16384, which is again 2 to the power 14. Now the problem statement mentions that the block contains 256 words. That means the number of words per block is 256. Then again, every word size is 8 bit. That means in other words, every word is of one byte size. And therefore, we are dealing with a byte addressable memory, right? Now the size of the block can be determined multiplying the number of words inside each block with the word size which is nothing but 2 to the power 8 in terms of bytes because 256 is 2 to the power 8. Now coming to the question number 1, they are asking us about how many bits are required for addressing the main memory. So basically they are asking us about the physical address bits. Now in order to find out the physical address bit, let's find out first what is the size of the main memory, which can be found out by multiplying the number of blocks inside the main memory with the block size. Now we have already found out the main memory has 2 to the power 14 blocks inside it and size of the each block is 2 to the power 8 bytes. Therefore, the main memory size is nothing but 2 to the power 22 in terms of bytes because 14 plus 8 is 22. Hence, for physical address, we will be needing 22 bits. So 22 bits are required for addressing the main memory. Now so far we know for physical address we will be needing 22 bits and the block size we calculated as 2 to the power 8 in terms of bytes and the number of cache lines was given as 2 to the power 7 which is nothing but 128. Now coming to the question number 2, they are asking us about how many bits are needed to represent the tag, the set and word fills. So basically they are asking us about actually the physical address bit split. Now since the block size is 2 to the power 8 in terms of byte, hence for offset we will be needing 8 bits and in this particular question the offset field is renamed as word. So for word field we will be needing 8 bits. Therefore from 22 bits physical address 8 least significant bits will be used as word field. Now coming to the cache memory, the blocks or the lines inside the cache are divided into 4 block sets. In other words, it's a four-way set associative cache organization. Therefore, the number of sets inside the cache is nothing but the number of lines that is 2 to the power 7 divided by 2 square because it's a four-way. Therefore, 4 is nothing but 2 square which results in 2 to the power 5 because 7 minus 2 is 5. Therefore, 5 bits will be used for the set number portion. Now coming to the tag bits portion, we can easily find it out subtracting the set bits and the word bits from the physical address bits which is 9 therefore 9 bits are going to be used for the tag field. So for tag 9 bits will be used, for set 5 bits will be used and for word 8 bits are going to be used and that is the answer to our second question. Consider this question number 2, it came in gate 2012 paper. Now the question states, a computer has a 256 kilobytes four-way set associative write-back data cache 
with block size of 32 bytes. That means the size of the cache is 256 kilobytes and it's a four way set associative cache organization. Now, the cache block size is 32 bytes. In other words, the size of each cache line is 32 bytes. Now, the processor sends 32 bit addresses to the cache controller. That means the physical address is of 32 bits. Then again, each cache tag directory entry contains, in addition to the address tag, two valid bits, one modified bit, and one replacement bit. Now, at first, they are asking us about the number of bits in the tag field. So, let's try to solve it. Now, the physical address bits is given as 32 bits, right? Then again, the block size is mentioned as 32 bytes. In other words, that is 2 to the power 5 bytes. Therefore, for offset, 5 bits will be used. So, from 32 bits physical address, 5 less significant bits will be used for the offset portion. Now, the size of the cache is mentioned as 256 kilobytes, which is, in terms of byte, is 2 to the power 18. Because 256 is 2 to the power 8 and kilobyte is 2 to the power 10. Now, we can find out the number of lines inside the cache, dividing the cache size by the block or the line size that will give us 2 to the power 13 because 18 minus 5 is 13. Now, it's a four-way set associative cache organization, right? Therefore, the number of sets inside the cache can be found out, dividing the number of lines inside the cache by the set size that is 2 square or 4, which results in 2 to the power 11. Therefore, 11 bits will be used for the set number portion. Now, we can easily find out the tag bits portion as well, subtracting the set bits and the offset bits from the physical address bits, which gives us 16 bits. Therefore, 16 bits will be used for the tags. Therefore, for the first segment, C is the correct choice. Now, coming to the second segment of the question, they are asking us about the size of the cache tag directory. Now, we have already figured it out that the number of cache lines is 2 to the power 13. So, the number of cache tag directory entry will also be 2 to the power 13, right? And in the problem statement itself, it's mentioned that each cache tag directory entry contains the tag bits, that means 16 bits of the tags, then two valid bits, one modified bit, and one replacement bit, which gives us 20 bits altogether. That means the tag directory entry is of 20 bits each. Therefore, the tag directory size can be found out multiplying the number of tag directory entry that is 2 to the power 13 with 20 bits, which can be written as 2 to the power 13 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 into 10 bits, which is again 2 to the power 14 into 10 bits, and which can be written as 2 to the power 4 into 10 into 2 to the power 10 bits. Now, 2 to the power 10 bits is 1 kilobits. That gives us the final answer as 160 kilobits because 2 to the power 4 is 16 and 16 multiplied by 10 is 160. Hence, for the segment number 2, option A happens to be the correct choice. Now, so far we have seen quite a few numerical problems and a significant amount of previous year questions on different types of cache memory mapping techniques, haven't we? So, I guess it will be a good idea to make our today's session a bit more engaging. So, here are some informations provided for you all. Suppose you all are given a four way set associative cache and the number of lines inside the cache is 128. Line size is given as 64 words and the physical address is given as 20 bits. Now, in this scenario, I want you all to find out the physical address split. It's a question from Gate Computer Science 2007 paper. And see, I have already extracted all the important informations for you all. So, we are already halfway there, right? So, good luck to all of you and feel free to write down your answers in the comment section. So, that was all for this session. In the next session, we will see some more interesting previous year questions on set associative mapping. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.